Okay, so now that we've gone through um, our equations previously, we know that our velocity in the y direction initially um, is not the same as our velocity in the y direction uh, after the collision. Um, so then, and we know that the x velocity is unaffected because the force from the ceiling is only being applied in the y direction. So then how does that look like in our code? So then we can put um, this code in, this if statement, we can modify our original if statement when we had just our question marks, we needed to fix it, and we can put in vx equals x and vy equals negative vy. So if we go back over to our editor, um, our first if statement here, so we'll change 0 to vx, and then we'll change uh, vy to negative vy, and then we'll run that. Let's drag that over here. So give it another few tries, see if it'll hit the top of the screen for us. And there you go. There it bounces off the wall. So then, uh, if it hits the ceiling, uh, the initial velocity in the y direction, um, it bounces back with the opposite um, direction. And then you saw the x velocity was unaffected. Now, when we're doing this code, um, you may notice that since our x velocity is unaffected, do we even really need uh, this line of code v x equals uh, v x? So we actually don't even really need this. Um, we can just get rid of this then. And then we can just leave vy equals negative vy. Um, run that and we'll, s if you saw that, I'm standing in front of it for you. Uh, move this over. Um, it still goes, uh, bounces back with that same vx, or same initial velocity in the x direction we don't even really need that line of code that it got rid of. So then we can modify the code for our second if statement, which Bly will tell you a little bit about. Yeah, so um, without going over all these equations again, you can go through that yourself and realize that um, you know we have the same assumptions about what type of collision this is, but now the force is being applied in the x direction from the left hand side of the wall or the x direction from, um, oh gosh, I said the wrong ones. <laughs> um, okay, so for the second if statement, remember this is about collisions with the walls of the box. And for this, we're making the same assumptions about what type of collisions these are. But now the force is coming from the walls in the x direction. So it's going to change the x component of our velocity instead of our y component now. So if you go through those same arguments um, that we were using in the case of the collision with the ceiling, you can convince yourself that um, instead of our y component of the velocity flipping sign, we are now going to have the x component flip sign and change direction. So I'll add this minus vx here, and our y component is going to remain unchanged because that force is now only in the horizontal direction. So let's see how our game is doing now. Bad luck here. <laughs> there we go. We have a bounce off of the walls now. And again, we see that it flips over so that it's coming back in the uh, direction. Um, go ahead and let Joe do the last. Okay.
So, so and then for this third if statement, this one's for the pedal. So are we so are we changing the vx and the vy? Um, just just the vy, just the vy, just the vy, VY, and the, v. the vy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because the paddle can only apply a force in the water. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then for our last if statement here, so um, we kind of are doing a similar thing to what we were doing for our first if statement, whereas for this case, we're hitting the paddle rather than hitting the ceiling. But the same, we're going to have the same idea as far as the force. So the force from the paddle is going to apply the force up on the ball. So that's going to make it bounce back up. But we're still going to have that uh, y velocity change direction. So this, you're going to do a very similar thing to what we did with the first if statement. So we can just put in our vy as negative vy. And then again, you know, I'm just going to leave it as vx equals vx. But again, you don't really necessarily need that statement because um, it's staying unchanged. So then if we run that for you, <coughs> let's see if I can get it the first time, have the ball hit the paddle. So there you can kind of see, Ooh. so then as it bounces around, <laughs> it hits the paddle, and then the y velocity does a similar, similar change of direction uh, as the, when it hits the ceiling. You can see the red, the red arrow showing the velocity vector as it changes when it hits the, hits the paddle. So you move that around and then it bounces off. Keep playing. So then with any game, obviously, we need a way for you to lose, right? Otherwise, the value of winning, you don't feel as good when you win if you can never lose. What's the point of playing the game, right? So to do that, we'll go back over here um, and we'll add in our game over if statement. So what this if statement, you know, saying here we have the y blob radius less than zero. So what does that mean? That is basically telling us in the code that if the ball falls below um, zero or falls below the screen, then we lose the, um, it'll then go to this draw text and it'll write in game over. So we'll have lost the game if we let the blob, blob fall below the paddle and we miss it. So then let's copy over this code just um, over here, so we'll stop that, and then here at the bottom of our code, we'll just control V that to paste it in. And then let's run that and see what it does when it falls below. And we lose, game <laughs> over. So then, you know, obviously you gotta do, you gotta do your best to try and um, keep the ball um, from bouncing, bouncing, um, or try and have it bounce on the paddle and not let it um, go below the screen, otherwise you'll lose the game. So you can keep doing that. So then next we can add a little bit of code to then show the path of the ball. And to do that, Blythe is going to tell us a little bit of how we can add the code to um, draw the path of the ball. Sure. So. We again have this little snippet already nicely written out for us that we can copy. And this will look back at the history of where the ball was and trace out its path for us. So I'll just go below where we were and paste that in. And rerun the game here. So as we were kind of drawing on the blackboard, now we see a trace of uh, the ball's trajectory as it bounces around. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so now that we've, you know, we got the game working, you know, you have game over, you can keep playing around with that, um, keep playing, try and, try and keep the ball up, keep it off, uh, bouncing off there. Um, some fun things that you can do to then make the game maybe a little bit more challenging. Um, maybe try and figure out uh, a way to put, say, like barriers in there to make, <coughs> um, kind of make it a little bit more challenging on yourself. Um, have the ball try and move in between those barriers. Um, other things you could do, uh, you could increase initial speed. So if you recall when we had this, 
um, going back up here, we had our V speed, which is we had our initial speed at 50. So let's maybe increase that to, I don't know, let's say 75 and then see how that starts the initial speed. It, it, you can see it's going a, definitely a little bit faster than when we had it at 50. And so make it a little bit more challenging on yourself. I guess if you really wanted to, <laughs> if you're feeling really ambitious, maybe go for like 100 and see if you know, you're up for the challenge there and you see it gets really fast. So then you really got to be on it. And even, even I can't do it. So <laughs> get game over there. So just um, some other fun things you can kind of uh, look to see to modify it, to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more challenging on yourself. Um, and then another thing to know, we're also going to have a link down here for you guys so that you can um, add in gravity to the game to then make it um, a little bit more like a game uh, bonk dial and make it um, a little bit more fun and challenging on yourself. Add another physical principle for you guys. But that's all we got for you guys. Hope you enjoy. I told you it was going to take two hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a whole process.